age in hospitality these days, Airbnbs. That's where travelers can crash at a home with a room and a bed. But when it comes to the rules regulating Airbnbs in Grand Rapids, we found confusion at City Hall and a resident who wanted to open an Airbnb instead ending up with a criminal conviction. New at 6, 24 Hour News 8's Joe LaFergie went to City Hall to get some answers. Hey Brian, so you know the city regulates a lot of businesses and services, but in the case of that resident who wanted to open an Airbnb, violating those regulations resulted in an undercover sting and criminal charges. Jane Skydema is a Belknap Hill resident with a big house, an interest in creating a new business, and a desire to meet new people. I have had people stay here from all over the world. Now, Skydema doesn't exactly fit the profile of public enemy number one, but these days, that's how she's feeling. At first, I thought, oh, this, you, you got to be kidding me. We'll get to why in a moment. It was last fall when she decided to put an extra room in her home on the Airbnb website. Then she found out she needed a Grand Rapids City license. So she wrote a $287 non-refundable check to the city for the application and licensing fee and sent it to City Hall. The city clerk who handles these applications sent someone out to inspect Skydom's home. But you said you were operating when, when the clerk's office actually Correct. came in and they knew it? Correct. And they didn't stop you? No. No, they didn't stop me. Soon after, the trouble started. I got a summons for arraignment for two criminal misdemeanors. Skydema admitted guilt to a reduced charge of advertising a business without a license. No jail time, but she's out over $600 between the application fee, fines, and court costs. All over what Skydema contends was a lack of communications on the city's part. But it's how they busted her that adds insult to Skydema's injury. Seems the clerk's office sent an employee in undercover, posing as an Airbnb customer to get the goods on Skydema. So they did it to, like, gotcha, when all they would have had to do is send me a letter saying, your application has been denied. City clerk Darlene O'Neill confirms there is no record of a denial letter being sent to Skydema. It sounds like there was a miscommunication or a breakdown in communication, and I do apologize for that. As for the undercover gotcha... Is it that serious that the city would send somebody undercover, if you will, in to check someplace out? Well, I wouldn't say that it's undercover. The way O'Neill explains it, her staff checks the Airbnb websites and other places that advertise for rooms but don't have a license. But there's a burden of proof beyond those checks, and that's why they send someone from the office in. Anyone can post anything on the website. So according to the court, it is important for us to be able to have demonstrated proof that a violation has in fact taken place. So for now, the extra space in Skydama's house sits empty. You'd still like to use it for an Airbnb, but wonders if she'll get a second chance. And maybe I could never fit their rules. I don't know. But I've never been given the opportunity. Does she have a chance if she comes back and Absolutely. fixes everything? Absolutely. Absolutely. And we have a link that guides you through the city's business licensing process at woodtv.com. Yeah, it's I mean, these things are popping up fast yeah, on all sorts of little applications. Yeah. It's hard for the city to keep up. Right, you go back a couple of years and you see the, the whole discussion on this started and it was kind of one of those new things. Well, we got to get our handle on this. Right. A lot of stuff like that in the, in the hopper right now. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. Sure.